Hello students. So this video is a continuation of the last video. So here we will solve some real life application of subtraction. Let's solve exercise 2.7 from page number 30. Here is the first problem. Rama and Govind are two factory owners. Rama's factory produced goods worth rupees 36,970 in a week and Govind's factory produced goods worth rupees 28,395. Whose factory produced more and how much more? Students, understand the problem properly. Here, we are comparing two factory owners. We have to find whose factory produced more goods than the other and by how much. So when you get such problems, you will have to subtract the two numbers to get the answer. So here is the solution. First statement, cost of goods produced in Rama's factory is equal to rupees 36,970. Cost of goods produced in Govind's factory is equal to rupees 28,395. We have to do the subtraction here. Regroup the places same way. So 10 minus 5 is 5. 16 minus 9, 7. 8 minus 3, 5. 16 minus 8, 8. 2 minus 2, 0. So it is a difference what we got. And the final statement is, therefore, Rama's factory produced more goods than Govind's factory by rupees 8,575. Let's take the third problem. Balakrishnan had a fruit farm with 13,035 trees. 4,975 trees fell in a cyclone. How many trees remain in a farm? First statement. Number of trees in the fruit farm is equal to 13,035. Second statement. Number of trees that fell in a cyclone is equal to 4,975. Do the subtraction. Regroup the places. 5 minus 5, 0. 13 minus 7, 6. 9 minus 9, 0. 12 minus 4, 8. And 0. This is the difference what we got. And the final statement. Therefore, number of trees that remain in the farm is equal to 8060. Let's take fourth problem. Their size monthly income is rupees 19,290. Kirby's income is rupees 5,860 less than the size. What is Kirby's monthly income? Here, their size monthly income is given to us, but Kirby's income is 5,800 less than the size. Kabir's monthly income we will have to find by subtracting the two numbers. Here is the solution. The first statement, the size monthly income is equal to rupees 19,290. Kabir's income is less by is equal to rupees 5,860. Do the subtraction here. Regroup the places. So 0 minus 0 is 0, 9 minus 6 is 3, 12 minus 8 is 4, 8 minus 5, 3, and 1 comes down. This is the Kabir's income what we got. And the final statement is, therefore, Kabir's monthly income is equal to rupees 13,430. Now, we will learn to solve word problems involving real life application using addition and subtraction. In this method, we are using both addition and subtraction. First, we will add the two numbers 
and then subtract the answer from the sum. So let's solve exercise 2.8. A green godown had 9,569 bags of wheat. 2,564 bags were taken out on Monday and 6,696 bags were taken out on Tuesday. How many bags are left in godown? So here we are adding the number of bags which are taken out on Monday and Tuesday. We are adding both these numbers and then we are subtracting from the actual number of bags. So let's begin. Here is the first statement. Number of bags taken out on Monday. It is 2,564. Second statement. Number of bags taken out on Tuesday is equal to 6,696. Here we have to add both the numbers. So after addition, I get 4 plus 6 is 10, 0, 1 carried over, 1 plus 6, 7, 7 plus 9, 16, 6, 1 carried over, 1 plus 5, 6, 6 plus 6, 12, 2, 1 carried over, 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 6, 9. And this is the total number of bags taken out. Okay, now this is one part. We have to do the next part. The next part is subtraction. So first, what is given to us? Number of bags in godown. It is 9,569. And now we are subtracting what we got after addition. That is number of bags taken out is equal to 9260. As I told you all, we have to do the subtraction. And after subtraction, we get 9 minus 0, 9. 6 minus 6, 0. 5 minus 2, 3. 9 minus 9, 0. This is the number of bags left. The final statement is, therefore, Number of wheat bags left in godown is equal to 309. Let's solve the second problem. From a wire 50,000 meters long, two pieces of 22,634 meters and 27,226 meters were cut. Find the length of remaining wire. So there was a long wire and it was cut into two pieces. So first we will add the two length of two pieces and then subtract it from the actual wire. Here is the solution. First statement. Length of the first piece. Can you guess students? It is 22,634 meters. Don't forget to write the unit meter. Next is length of the second wire is equal to 27,226 meter. You can write either first piece or even you can write as first wire. Okay. Next we are adding. After addition we get 4 plus 6 is 10. 1 carried over. 1 plus 3 4. 4 plus 2 6. 6 plus 2, 8. 2 plus 7, 9. 2 plus 2, 4. Now what is this student? It is the total length of cut wire. Okay. Next is the next part. Length of the actual wire is? Guess. Yes. It is 50,000 meters. Now what we have to do? We have to subtract the length of the wire cut is equal to 49,860 meters. Do the subtraction. Now if you see here, we cannot subtract 6 from 0. So we need to regroup the places. So 0 minus 0 is 0. 10 minus 6 is 4. 9 minus 8, 1. 9 minus 9, 
0, 4 minus 4, 0. So, this is the length of wire left. So, final statement is, therefore, length of remaining wire is equal to 140 meter. So, only 140 meter was remaining. Let's solve the third problem. Three candidates contested an election. The total number of votes polled was 52,526. One candidate got 38,525 votes and the second candidate got 5,526 votes. How many votes did the third candidate get? So what are we doing here? We are adding both the votes, okay? First and second candidate's votes and then subtracting it from the total number of votes to get the number of votes the third candidate got. Here is the solution. First statement, number of votes pulled for the first candidate is how much students? It is 38,525. Second statement, number of votes pulled for the second candidate. It is 5,526. What are we supposed to do? We are doing addition here. So 5 plus 6 is 11, 1 carried over, 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 2, 5. 5 plus 5, 10, 1 carried over, 1 plus 8, 9, 9 plus 5, 14, 4, 1 carried over, 1 plus 3, 4. This is the total votes for the first and second candidates got. Okay. Next part, total number of votes pulled. This we know. So it is 52,526. We have to subtract it with the number of votes for the first and second candidates. We got 44,051. After subtraction, we have to regroup the places. 6 minus 1 is 5. 12 minus 5 is 7, 4 minus 0, 4, 12 minus 4, 8, 4 minus 4, 0. This is the number of votes pulled for the third candidate. Okay, then the final statement is, therefore, total number of votes pulled for the third candidate is equal to 8,470.